stop them. But what a sad outcome, Rangers. The Proteus was ready to welcome outsiders, but Polyp's rage infected them. I'm sorry to see them go. At least the detonation remained stable and unharmed, which allows us to resume our mission. Our mission stands. It's time to propel Colorado into the new age of energy. Let's begin. Hmm. That code is in the documentation I gave you. Uh, right? Uh, there. Also, here are the instructions for adjusting the detonation's time dilation field, which will also adjust its energy output. Excellent! Access granted! Now, you will see you have a range of parameters you can set, including some you shouldn't even consider. For example, shutting down the time dilation field completely. That would quite literally be the end of us. But increasing the passage of time by even the tiniest amount should be enough to give Colorado Springs all the power it needs, while at the same time not compromising the safety of the inhabitants of Cheyenne. Er, any more than it already is. Yes? That is more than enough to run the systems of this base, uh, but not enough for any external uses. Try increasing it by another nanosecond. Ah, oh, lovely! That will be more than enough power for Colorado Springs. And to think, all it took was the nudging of a dial. Transferring partial power output to Colorado Springs Power Grid. Rangers, was that you? All the lights in the palace just flared and my heat lamp blew a fuse. I'm getting power surge reports from all over the city. What are you doing? Sir, it's Theo Curie. The Rangers have been helping me with that proposal I brought to you some months back. The one where I asked for backing to search for a power source in the old Cheyenne Mountain military facility. Do you remember? I remember telling you I'd get back to you about it. It sounds like you didn't wait. Uh, no, sir. But the results have been spectacular. With the Rangers' help, I've secured the source, and, as you are now aware, we have successfully connected it to the Colorado Springs energy grid. We have more power here than we will ever need. Well, that sounds like good news, but I'd like a second opinion. Rangers, what do you think of this power source? Is it all that Theo Curie says it is? Good to know. I may give that duty to you, Rangers, once our current trouble is over. For now, though, this will be a good way to augment the power we're getting from the Gippers, and have as a backup in case they make trouble again. Thank you, Rangers. Knowing Theo, I've no doubt you were instrumental in bringing this plan to fruition. I and Colorado Springs owe you a debt. Good work. And Theo, are you there? Uh, yes. Sir? Well done, son. I'm sorry now I listened to Elijah Ward after you brought me your plan. I should have trusted you. If you have funds on you, pay the Rangers for their help. I'll reimburse you when I give you your reward. Yes, sir. Happy to. Good job to all of you. You can and out. Well done, Rangers! With the power from the Holy Detonation, Colorado's future is secured. Just wait until Elijah Ward hears about this. He'll eat his telescope. Sideways! Thanks again, friends. I'm going to stay here and continue studying the detonation. There's so much yet to learn.
It travels. Now Colorado Springs will feel the blessings of the Holy Dead Nation. The Hallelujah. Fall out of the Feel sure he better know what he's talking about. Defenders of the world, captains to the hell, sail across the sea of night. Now the Proteus said you could hook up the holy destination to the grid, so go ahead. Rangers, this is Elijah Ward calling again. Do you read me? Rangers, come in. It's Elijah Ward. You lunatics. I can tell by the brightness of my lights that you went through with Theo's plan and tapped the nuclear energy source in Cheyenne Mountain. That is most disappointing. I understand how tempting it must have been to take what looked like free power, but I assure you, power like that always has a cost, whether now or in the future. We may be warmer here in Colorado Springs because of this. Our homes may be brighter, but we will not be safer. For the threat of nuclear destruction will always loom over us as long as that bomb, or whatever it is, can be reached by evil hands. I'm sure Theo is happy with you, but I am furious. You will get no reward from me, and no support either. You damn fools. So long, Rangers. Didn't he kill everybody for one? Only almost everybody. Amazing. Hope that sweet, sweet power was worth it, asshole. in the documentation I gave you. Uh, right. Uh, there. Also, here are the instructions for adjusting the detonation's time dilation field, which will also adjust its energy output. Excellent! Access granted. Now, you will see you have a range of parameters you can set, including some you shouldn't even consider. For example, shutting down the time dilation field completely. That would quite literally be the end of us. But increasing the passage of time by even the tiniest amount should be enough to give Colorado Springs all the power it needs, while at the same time not compromising the safety of the inhabitants of Cheyenne, or er, any more than it already is. Mm, yes? That is more than enough to run the systems of this base. But not enough for any external uses. Try increasing it by another nanosecond. What? What have you done? Turn it back the other way! You assholes! Reactor shutdown complete. I don't understand. Why? Why did you do that? With the time dilation field collapsed, there is no way to restart the explosion. Cheyenne Mountain has become useless as a power source. Ward? That jealous old man? He doesn't think it's dangerous. He just doesn't want me to succeed where he failed! To rob a whole city of its future out of petty spite? It's... It's villainy! And you were party to it! Well, I will have no more to do with you small-minded, backwards-thinking brutes! Good day. You should not see me again. Dudes! 
the fuck? What did these people ever do to you? Everything's in good shape. Not too hot, not too cold. Rangers, this is Elijah Ward calling again. Do you read me? Rangers, come in. It's Elijah Ward. Go ahead. You know what I want. I've been waiting with bated breath. Have you shut down the holy detonation yet? Hallelujah! Thank you, Rangers. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I know it must have been tempting to take what looked like free power, but I assure you such power always has a cost, whether now or in the future. We may not be as warm as we might have been here in Colorado Springs because of this, but we will be safer, and we will live long enough to find other, cleaner, less vulnerable ways to power our town. Again, thank you. I will be sending your payment to your base presently. It should be there when you return. So long, Rangers. Good job killing everybody and our god, fuckers! And you didn't even get anything out of it. Incredible. That code is in the documentation I gave you. Uh, right. Uh, there. Also, here are the instructions for adjusting the detonation's time dilation field, which will also adjust its energy output. Excellent! Access granted. Now, you will see you have a range of parameters you can set, including some you shouldn't even consider. For example, shutting down the time dilation field completely. That would quite literally be the end of us. But increasing the passage of time by even the tiniest amount should be enough to give Colorado Springs all the power it needs, while at the same time not compromising the safety of the inhabitants of Cheyenne, or any more than it already is. Mm, yes? That is more than enough to run the systems of this base, but not enough for any external uses. Try increasing it by another nanosecond. Don't do it, Rangers! She'll kill us all! And Colorado Springs, too! Are you nuts? Don't do this! If we saved them or betrayed them, if we did the job we went for or we failed. Hard times in Arizona with the rangers and the settlers giving ground. See the raiders and militia, and it seems we'd lose the good life that we found. Offered by my kids, and I will help you save your land. So we rode for Colorado, praying that he'd be an honest man. Before we hardly started, we found a little frozen nuclear blast. Which killed us in Colorado In a sudden rage in molten pyroclast We didn't like this ending In fact, we'd like to say that it blowed So we hope that you'll consider Returning to the menu to reload 